not decrease crime. All right, that's one take from a police chief. Arizona Republican Trent Franks is on both the House Armed Services Committee and the Judiciary Committee. Uh, Congressman, good to have you with us today. Uh, Always you, good to be with you. I, I want to ask you your thoughts on that police chief. Uh, is, they sort of arranged to have a number of police chiefs come and talk to Eric Holder, uh, and, and he says that this law will impede his ability to do his job. Well, you know, that bewilders me. Uh, according to the governor's office in Arizona, about a thousand uh, illegal immigrants cross the Arizona border every day, and 87 percent of them have some type of criminal record. So I just don't know what the chief is, is really talking about. Maybe he hasn't read the bill either. Uh, so I, I can only hope that that's the case. Talk to me a little bit about your understanding, because we've heard a lot of different takes on what these new 1,200 uh, National Guard troops would actually be doing down there. Have you gotten any clarification from the White House on that? Only some. The fact is that they say up to 1,200 when we really need more like six or 7,000. And secondarily, their activities or their duties would be confined to, to surveillance and support. And that's it's sort of, the, I think the term is boots on the desk instead of boots on the ground. Mm. And I think it's probably not the best use of, of the National Guard troops, even though I support sending them. I think that their mission is too restricted here. Yeah, and, and you feel that there needs to be more of them based on what you, ju you just said. Uh, talk to me a little bit about your idea in terms of how to seal the border that wouldn't really require any cooperation from Mexico. Yeah. Well, you know, first of all, I'm on the Strategic Forces Committee as well, which has to do with the nuclear profile of this country and other countries. And uh, the whole border security issue is not just about immigration. It's about national security. At some point, we may face a situation if Iran or someone like that gains a nuclear weapons capability, that terrorists will have these types of weapons. And they could always bring them in over the border and maybe hiding them in a bale of marijuana or something like that. So the, the reality is this is a much bigger issue and uh, it is important that we secure the borders because if we do that not only we serve national security but we also keep a lot of the criminal element out of uh, the, the state of Arizona and the immigration issues have a way of ameliorating over time if the border is secure. And I think that we need to continue with some of the efforts under the Bush administration to build the barriers and to make right. sure that we have enough people on the border to secure it. But what do you think about President Obama's response so far uh, to the situation that you all are enduring in Arizona right now? Well, you know, first of all, the president uh, suggested that the bill was unconstitutional. And I don't think he had read it at that time. I, I personally heard his attorney general uh, in the Judiciary Committee saying he had not read it, yet he thought that we should be sued. Uh, so the, the, the governor of Arizona has started a defense fund, and who can blame her? Here you have, first of all, she's being ignored by the federal government, and now the federal government wants to sue her before they've read the bill. So you, you kind of understand her circumstance, and so we've been extremely disappointed in the Obama administration, and I believe that his effort to send troops to the border is really a political cover to, to sort of blunt the, the criticism that he's facing considering this whole issue and that Arizona's law probably catalyzed all of that. Mm, very interesting. Uh, Congressman Franks, good to have you with us today. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you very much. While you were talking, Martha, we were in touch with our folks in Afghanistan.